Not got very far on the special effects yet. We've just been uh, sort of tying around the edges, still focusing on editing. We've not really locked the picture yet, but um, it's nice to just introduce introduce a few effects so that um, you know we all know um, exactly what they might look like once we replicate uh, what we've done throughout the film. So this is the new uh, computer that we've been working on uh, for processor uh, system. If I put that there, the first program I want to uh, introduce is Poser. And here I've got a character already created. And over here on the right, there are light controls that I can move around. So now I've just got one light. There's no fill. Let's bring it around the front. And uh, down here in the right hand corner is um, an animation uh, window. I'm running at 25 frames a second and um, I'm on frame 1 of 30. I'm going to set a keyframe there. If we go to frame 30 and then go back into the preview window, what we can do is move the camera to a new position and record that as a new keyframe. And then if we go back to the start, you'll find that the camera will or the software will interpret the stages in between in order to get from frame 1 position frame 1 to position at frame 30 now what this means is that I can control this guy and make him move in the same way that um, that Peter moves in the film so if I do a quick uh, render let's have a look here It will render the man. Time to have a cup of tea. It takes quite a while to do this rendering at high def because uh, we've got one 440 by 1080 uh, pixels on the screen. And uh, this, I mean, what you basically do is set this up and leave it to render each one because what's happening now is it's just rendering one frame for me to show you. But um, ultimately, it would need to render. 25 frames a second so that's best done overnight now if I was to look at that you'd say well yeah it looks cool but it's it does look kind of computer generated so what I'm going to do is go back to preview and then I'm going to change the opacity of the skin to 50% uh, and now we can see the skeleton that's underneath the skin and if I click to re-render that I'll stop the rendering there, that's enough for that. And then, uh, using this slider, I can compare you know, the effect of uh, making the skin translucent.